Hi, I'm Alistair from Genius Hub. We thought we'd put together some unboxing videos for you to show you the different components of the Genius Hub in more detail. So you can see them up close and also we'll answer some of the questions we often get asked. So when it's more difficult for you to physically get your hands on uh, our kit, when you maybe talk to one of our installers, then hopefully this will help. So let's start with the wireless room sensor, also known as the Genius Room Sensor. So the Genius Room Sensor is used essentially for two reasons. One is it provides you more accurate temperature measuring within the room. Though the valve, as I previously said, is extremely accurate because it has two temperature probes in it and it knows it's next to a hot source. The disadvantage is it's often on the floor near a window because that's often where radiators are put in the UK. So if you install a wireless room sensor, the advantage of that is you can now choose where you put it in a room. So you can put it on an internal wall and you can also put it at chest height, which is a more representative area to be able to measure the temperature in the room. So accuracy is all of what Genius Hub is about. So it would be more accurate to be able to measure the temperature in your room on an internal wall. So the main uses for it is it also measures not only the temperature, but it also measures occupancy within the room. So it has a uh, occupancy sensor and this can sense when the room is being used. And that means that the system can learn when the room is being used, turn the heating up when you use a room and also turn it down when you uh, leave a room saving you energy. The Genius um, room sensor has uh, one battery in it. It's a CR123 battery available in most supermarkets and also you can buy it online, of course. Uh, that will last you two years on the battery life. Very easy for you to change. Uh, we've got plenty of videos on our website explaining how to change the batteries in a room sensor. Very easy, uh, normal operation of you walking into a room two or three times uh, and it picking up when you're in the room also whilst you're using the room. Uh, battery life will be two years without a problem. It's held to the wall with sticky pads and also with screws. So it comes with a couple of different sticky pads, uh, a temporary one that you can use whilst you maybe move it around and maybe try it in some different positions. Alternatively, there's also a permanent pad in there as well so you can stick that to the wall. Be careful though because once you've stuck it to the wall you won't get it off without pulling the wallpaper off if you've got it or pulling the paint off. They are very, very sticky. Also comes with a couple of screws should you want to screw it to a wall as well. The range of the room sensor is around about 10 meters. So if you've got a very long room, it will pick up as far away as that. But it's obviously much more sensitive the closer you get to it. So we generally recommend that if it's picking up with you sat seated, that you uh, set the room sensor to be around about four meters, maybe from where you are. If you're sat very, very still, maybe you're sat typing at a computer um, or you're sat watching uh, television, then it's better if you probably have it within two meters. So the field of vision is 175 degrees left to right, so it's very wide left to right and only 40 degrees up and down. So left and right, that means it will pick up most of the room uh, without any problem and up and down it means that pets can pass underneath it without triggering the heating. So unless you have an absolutely huge dog, in most cases the pets will pass underneath them and then the room sensors won't trigger for the rooms to turn on. Installation of it is, like I said, very easy. You simply just stick it to the wall, point on a wall, uh, chest height and that will give you uh, an excellent temperature of the room. Other things that's great about the room sensor is you can get the triggers off it uh, using services such as IFTTT. For example, you could set triggers to tell you uh, that a room has been occupied. So if you wanted to set this as a kind of a pseudo alarm system, this isn't marketed as an alarm system. Obviously, if you were to set IFTTT up, you would no be notified if one of your rooms was being used. So that's the wireless room sensor from Genius Hub.